In this tip of the day, let's take a look at a very powerful machining operation that will only machine the flat areas on a 3D part. Now what's great about this command is that it can be used on solid models or surfaces or a combination of both. Now in this example, the goal is to quickly apply toolpath to the flat areas on both of these circular pockets as well as this flat area right here without creating any 2D boundaries. Okay, here's how we can do that. Let's take our cursor, quickly head over to the command manager, select our model toolpaths, and from there we're going to select flat area machining. Now just like with all of our other machining operations, the first thing you need to do is to define the tool. I'm quite happy with a half inch diameter end mill. Our speeds and feeds look fine, so I'm going to click next on that. Now in the next dialog box we specify our clearance values. I'm going to say all these look great but I do want to point out the very powerful ability of 1CNC to show the 3D part here within the dialog box and to remind you that these grids here are dynamic and tied into your different parameters over here. So if I type in a half inch rapid plane notice how that plane pops up there. Very very nice. Let's click next on that. For the type of strategy for this I'm going to use high speed close. I think that looks great. Let's keep things simple. I'm going to just click next here. And then for the approach style, of course you can ramp in if you'd like, but I'm going to use just plunge. We're going to assume that this has already been roughed out and all we want to do is just machine those flat areas. Notice that I've also activated arc optimization. That's going to optimize our toolpath as well as reduce the size of the CNC program. That looks very good, so let's click next on that. Here's our milling settings and for the step over I'm going to use 75% of the tool diameter. I'm going to say leave zero on the sides and for tolerance I'm going to use one thousandths. That looks good so let's click next on that. Here's our boundary parameters. I'm just going to use extents box tool placement set to none because the toolpath again is going to be restricted to just these flat areas. Let's click finished and let one CNC generate the toolpath. All right, and so there we go. Notice how quick that was. We didn't have to define any 2D geometry. One CNC interrogated the 3D part and only applied the toolpath to the flat areas. Let's quickly preview this. I'm going to right hand mouse click, select preview toolpath, and here we go. Here's our machining of the flat area here, the machining of both of those circular pockets. Very, very nice. Thank you so much for watching this tip of the day. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.